Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Duo here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to Tales of the Jedi Episode 5, titled Practice Makes Perfect. The Jedi Padawan is given seemingly is given a seemingly impossible exercise. And this is the first one that is actually in the timeline of the Clone Wars. Because the thumbnail is Anakin and Ahsoka. And it looks like a slightly older than the start of the Clone Wars as well. So they've got some pre-existing relationship already. But yeah. So far this has been a really enjoyable thing to watch. It's fleshing out the backstory of characters I didn't know the full backstory of. That being Ahsoka and Mace Wind. Not Mace Windu. Well there was a little bit of Mace but. Uh, Count Dooku. Also, I want to point out, I was a complete idiot in the last episode. Of course, Dooku was already working with, um, Palpatine. He deleted the records of the clone army at the start of the episode. Like, why would he do that if it wasn't for working with Palpatine? But, yeah. Anyway, let's get this started in three, two, one, go. And it did play. I really do need to start watching The Clone Wars. It's just, it's got so many levels. No. Sorry, I've started playing the, um,. Star Skywalker Saga game, so I'm equating the movies and shows to levels. But yeah, it's got so many episodes, I it would take me a long time to get the reactions out. Did she always hold it in a reverse grip? Not bad. It sounds like a train. Why does Obi-Wan look like Prince Charming's older brother? Hmm. 
I do have a feeling that um, he's going to think he's going to have to save her and that she's going to prove he's wrong. Can't say anything. Except there's going to be multiple first fires, aren't there? Well, that's an effective stun. That's an unfair disadvantage. I don't remember him being this harsh in what I've seen from the Clone Wars. It is interesting he's training her against his regimen. Now, of course, he didn't have any idea that he'd be leading that regimen against the um, Jedi, but... It is interesting that his was meant to be the best of the best. You can see it. Reckon she'd fare better if she had a second lightsaber. Once she had some perspective, she did better.
The only problem with stun discs is that you can't actually um, reflect them. So in a real battle, she'd have fired some of those back at them, limiting the numbers of those fighting her. Now, wouldn't she? This is during Order 66, isn't it? Did she wipe out an entire squadron of troopers? Fuck. I know you can see that it's been happening over years. Both by her outfit and the fact that in, after the temple she had two lightsabers. And her, um, I forget what these are called, but... They're a little longer. And then you can see it's obviously Order 66. But from going to maybe 10 shots maximum to 5 minutes to an entire squadron with their blasters no longer on stun, that is impressive. But then again, like I said, with a stun... Last, it dissipates as soon as you hit it, whereas those would have been using actual bullets. Plus, she would have had Rex for the assist, so. But still, that's nothing to diminish just how um, incredible that feat would be, considering um, most Jedis were being taken down by single teams. Then again, that, like Dooku said in number three, Taking them by surprise would have helped with that, and she's aware of the betrayal, but there's a lot of factors to think of, but damn. Anakin really screwed himself by training her that way. I mean, I don't actually know much about Anakin and Ahsoka post Vader like I know they've interacted at least once but I don't know what happened during that um but yeah well other than of course the whole split mask thing but yeah I don't know whether they've interacted more whether he Part of him wants Ahsoka alive because of the relationship or not. But if he didn't train her against his squadron, then there's no way she would have been as prepared to take it out. But yeah, that was, that was fun. I can see what people are saying. Like, this is a very unique show. It doesn't overstay its welcome. It just goes for as long as it needs to to tell this short story and then just stops. That's why you've got some really weird... You've got like 19, 16, 16, 18. This one was 13. Next one's 17. Like, sure, they could have stretched it out to like a proper TV length 20 minute cartoon, but... They didn't need to. They could tell the story in less, so they did. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, I guess that being said, I'll uh, catch you in the next one.